ገበላ ዶክተር ኤሪክ ክብቆይ ሞታይ ስታንስ ኢምፒችድ ባይ ኦል ማታስ ላት ሻል ካም አንድ አ ዲሊበሬሽን ኢን ሶ ጀስት አንድ ፌትፉል አማና ጀስት ዋድ ባንስ ዘ ፒስ ፕሮስፓሪቲ አንድ ዌልፌር ኦፍ አ ካንትሪ አንድ ኦፍ ዞስ ዊዝ ኢንትረስት is misappropriation and or abetting misappropriation of publicly raised funds this one mr speaker is in relation to the londiani accident victims fundraiser uh, number 1 on various dates between 4th july 2023 and 9th july 2023 the governor grossly violated the provisions of article 10 73 and 75 of the constitution and sections 29 and 34 of the leadership and integrity act 2012 by uh, number a overseeing misappropriation of funds raised for the victims of the horrendous londiani junction accident tragedy in which over kenya shillings 9 million of public raised funds were lost number b uh, reneging on his undertaking to implement the report of the county assembly's ado committee formed to probe the misappropriation of funds uh, meant for the victims of the incident there is evidence that the governor filed a suit and or supported a suit by those implicated in the report of the county assembly's ad hoc committee in kericho elrc petition number e006 of 2023 that is dr wesley bor and five others versus the governor the county government and others and kericho elrc petition number e014 of 2023 victor tum and others versus the governor kericho county government and others and c being personally and directly complicit in the flawed award of direct tenders for service providers during the fundraiser and requiem mass of the victims of the accident number d the governor has in his, in this regard committed numerous and various acts in the course of his duties that are contrary to and in violation of the constitution abuse of office roman number 1 illegal appointments and lawful dismissals and transfers and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of county public service number 1 mr speaker the governor has variously engaged in roman number 1 gross misconduct and roman number 2 gross violations of article 10 article 73 article 75 article 232 article 235 and article 236 of the constitution Uh, Roman number 2 number 3 gross violation of section 17 of the public officer ethics act uh, section 55 section 59 section 59a section 60 section 62 section 63 section 64 and section 65 of the county government act section 4 of the public appointments county assembly's approval act 2017 and variously abused his office by number a illegally appointing one mrs alice bet now judge of the high court as the county attorney when there was a substantive office holder an act of which the employment and labor relations court on the board lady justice wasilwa affirmed was irregular and procedural and unlawful in sang versus governor kericho county and two others petition e001 of 2013 2023 i mean sorry 2023 in that case the governor was found by the court to be in gross violations violation of article 73 and 232 of the constitution his actions found to be illegal and unconstitutional and ordered to pay costs of kenya shillings 2 million and costs personally 
The governor has therefore been already adjudged to be in gross violation of the law and all the assembly and the senate are called upon to do is to remove him by impeachment. Mr. Speaker, it's unfortunate that the governor would rise one morning and advertised, you know, the position of the county attorney when there is an, a substantive holder of the office who's been there from the first county government under Professor Paul Chepkwany. The governor was fined Kenya shillings two million, not from the county coffers, but he was, you know, told to pay from it out of his own pocket. Mr. Speaker, this is even a judgment that has been rendered that the governor violated the law. And based on this judgment alone, the governor is adjudged. Judgment has been rendered. This governor, Mr. Speaker, ought not to be holding office. Number B, causing the advertisement of the position of doctors, nurses, early childhood education, that is ECD teachers, just to endear himself politically when he knew the county government did not have the capacity to hire. The applicants were subsequently not shortlisted, nor uh, their late vacancies filled. Mr. Speaker, county government of Kericho, you know, advertised the, for the position of in health department, the education department, that is the ECD, and even in agriculture, which were never filled. Mr. Speaker, the only reason that the governor gave was uh, that, you know, we do not have uh, the money and that the wage bill was going to shoot, you know, above the required limit. Mr. Speaker, in the first place, why would you publish an advertisement when you know you do not have the money. We have a case of a very serious human resource personnel by the name Jacqueline Leitich, who exited the service of this county to join the national government. She was frustrated. You can imagine, Mr. Speaker, an officer who holds, who was the acting director of human resource. Simply because the governor didn't like her, she was second she was sent to become the subcounty administrator in so in with she never reported or she reported and immediately immediately uh, sought transfer to the national government mr speaker the actions by the governor and his men led by one dr bor um, really you know demoralized the officer and uh, the governor has done so many of this. In one of the interviews, Mr. Speaker, again, one officer who works in this county as the payroll manager told us in this committee that at some point he was taking drugs meant for pressure, just to lower the pressure. Because of the, the insults and the abuse by the county chief, it is uncalled for, very unfortunate, and this governor ought to be impeached, Mr. Speaker. The acts of the governor enumerated above have collectively brought dishonor and distributing the office of the governor in violation of Chapter 6 of the Constitution and the Leadership and Integrity Act of 2012. Evidence of the governor's engagement, connivance, and complicity in the preceding acts, in the preceding acts of incitement, vilification, and indecent sexual conduct is to be found in. Uh, uh, evidence that is from number one that's Roman one to Roman three which is also attached uh, honorable members having read the motion in verbatim before we begin the debate on the motion that is now before the house it is fundamental principle in law that an accused person has the right to be. Bed Gladys Jasang. I vote yes. I vote yes. Vincent Kibukure. On behalf of the people of Londiani, I vote yes. Kivrotuch Rogon. On behalf of the great people of Sigawit, I vote yes. 
Korol Mati Kiv Korol Osgei Kimgetich Vincent On behalf of Kiricho County Youth, I thought I pick yes. Rotich Haron Kipgemoy. On behalf of good people of Seretut, Chiptoro Riet Ward, I vote big yes. Now, Rotich Moses Cheriot. On behalf of the great people of Tendeno Soget, I vote yes. Motion seeking the removal of impeachment. From office, so from office uh, of the governor for Kericho County, Honorable Dr. Eric Kipkoe Mutai, by impeachment, has been supported by two thirds of the members of the County Assembly of Kericho. I therefore declare that the motion is passed and the governor. Dr. Eric Kipkoej Mutai stands impeached by, by the County Assembly.